Sure, okay, so, uh, I'm feeling a bit nervous for a couple of reasons. I didn't really prepare much, like everyone else seemed to in the group. Um, but also, um, I just I hope that might have taken a moment to acknowledge just the, the intellectual firepower and, and the, some of the academic influences that are in this room that really had a profound effect on me from, from Burroughs, I guess, right, right down to Walker and everyone in between, like the Oranges and, the, and Josephs. It's just really fantastic. So, um, thank you very much, and it's an honour to, to address a question like this. Um, and also, really quite exciting because um, this, in a way, actually captures my PhD thesis topic, um, which those of you who talked to me today will we'll, we'll know a little bit about, um, which is fantastic. Um, I, I, my answer to this question is I think that we don't trust the politicians because our unwritten constitution actually doesn't give them that much power. And if you'll just indulge me for a moment, I think hopefully I'll tell you a story which will reveal that the constitution that we have is a wonderful, beautiful thing and we should all be really, really proud of it. Um, our, our politicians probably don't have as much power as, as you like to think because they're not actually the ones who make the decisions. Parliament is, and that's a really great thing. It's not about the politicians, it's about Parliament, and that's a really great institution. And not only does it make legislation, which is a great part of what it does, but it also holds those politicians to account. And that's a really crucial part of what it does. And I just think it's really fantastic there's an institution like that that does that. So these politicians don't have that power. Parliament does. Um, I think it was um, Quentin Baxter, Fred S. Quentin Baxter, who said that the, the, the fact that politicians um, and all constitutional actors don't just have to obey the law, but have to be accountable to Parliament, was one of the most fundamental gifts that the Westminster system gave us, and there's absolutely no question at all of departing from it. Given that we're writing a written constitution over the next 24 hours, uh, that probably presents a bit of a challenge to that idea, but I, I think it's still very profound. Um, the other point I would make is that have we just shifted the problem back a little bit? No, I don't think we have, because Parliament probably isn't actually as powerful as we would like to think it is. Parliament actually works within a lovely system where there are lots of balances. And I'll just throw a couple of concepts at you. One, the principle of legality which forces Parliament to take seriously some of the really serious things that we don't want it to do. Um, for those of you who don't know, basically if you're trespassing on fundamental human rights or the Treaty of Waitangi or things like that, you have to do that in express terms if you're going to try to do legislation. That's fantastic. That means Parliament is accountable to the people. And I, I would put it to you that a Parliament that had to put those things in those express terms would think twice about it for the very reason that they're not the only institution involved in the lawmaking process, the Governor-General, uh, as the Queen's representative, as the sovereign's representative, has to sign that off as well. And if you were, in express terms, putting something that was fundamentally undermining a constitutional principle, um, the, the basis of democracy, for example, I'd be very surprised if your Governor General was ever going to consent to that. And the lawmaking system would break down at that point and we'd have a wonderful constitutional crisis. It would be like 1984 all over again. <laughs> so I, I, I hope that's just a, a nice little example which shows that there are balances that go beyond the political system and our constitution is much wider than that. The unwritten constitution is a really beautiful thing. Do it, I think.